We start with one of our charts. Just I want to give a quick update. If you refer to our analysis, we have been looking for the reversal for buy. One of the, I mean, one of the trade was to have a trip of this. And right now we're looking at this correction. If you get any opportunity for buy from here, we will take it. If the price is going to drop, we just let it go. But if you get any opportunity for buy, we will take it. And the best thing is if you get the next drop, we see the internal flat as a first correction. The third, then any reversal, either as a short move flag, we will take the trade or we can put our entry above the top if we get one more drop and the price drop to 25. Because if we want to look for buy from here, I don't think so. we can get a really good trade. The only thing is we see the breakout of this one as a sharp flag. We take the trade because having entry above this, I won't suggest that. And if you get any opportunity for buy from here, the targets we're looking for is 29 following by 31. We need to see the breakout of this one then. We need to see the breakout of the 33. And even if you refer to our analysis, since the price was within this one, we have been looking for buy and we mentioned we need to see the breakout of 33. As we can see, the price tag, but it couldn't break. All right. Anyway, we start, uh, we move to daily chart and based on daily chart, we, I mean, if we want to look, we're looking for this correction. If you get any reversal, any opportunity for buy, we'll take it. And with the breakout of the 33, based on uh, daily chart, we're looking for 46 following by 57. But the only question is at this point, right? Because after we get this reversal, the price couldn't break 33, then we see the rejection right now. We're looking at this based on daily chart. Whenever we have this kind of the correction following by this sharp move, we can expect the price to drop. And even we can expect the price drop to 0 0.215 with a breakout of 0 0.215. We can expect the price even drop to 17. All right. Which is exact value 0 0.176. By the way, it does mean if you get any opportunity for buy as a reversal from here, that's why we need to see the breakout of the 33. That's why we consider it as a short term trade. Anyway, we move to forward chart and based on forward chart, we're looking at this correction similar to what I explained based on uh, one hour chart. Any trade for buy, we will take it. But in the bigger picture, we have to see the breakout of this correction as a sharp move, not the corrective move. Similar to what I explained based on daily chart. And if I move to one hour chart, we have nothing else to discuss. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.